Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me right here at My Orchid Adventure. And today guys, I have a very special unboxing for you guys. You guys are gonna be sharing a very special momentous occasion with me because I gotta tell you, I have searched far and wide to get my grubby plant loving hand on one of these very furry, very adorable, very lovable plant creature right here. And you guys know, I have been to so many different nurseries and I have not been able to find one of these. As a matter of fact, I had to resort to online methods, eBay to be in specific and even on eBay, they only had three vendors that had these right here. So that should tell you something. We are talking about eBay here. We are talking about a place, a platform where you can buy anything and everything. And again, only three vendors. So I am very fortunate and I'm gonna be sharing my special unboxing with you guys. <laughs> I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Oh yeah, you know I like it. Okay, so here we are and I'm just gonna get right up in this, get right up in the mix here. Da 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 da, da 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 da. All right, we got the uh, scrap paper here. Okay, here it is, here it is, here it is. Do 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 do, do 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 do. Oh, come on. Ah, ah, oh my gosh, here it is, guys. Here it is, here it is. Ah. This right here, guys, is so far greater than what I expected it to be. On the listing, it actually stated that this was going to be a rootless cutting. Guys, it is absolutely not a rootless cutting. As a matter of fact, it is far more mature than I expected it to be. And it does have its roots already growing in. But not only that, all of its little fur is growing in as well. Oh my goodness, this is indeed quite a bundle of joy. And I'm telling you, I am quite the proud mama. And let me go ahead and show you why I'm so excited. Dun da da da, dun da 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 da. Bam! There it is, right here, guys. Look at that. This is what is called the monkey tail. Do you guys see it? And this monkey tail right here is quite adorable. Such a phenomenal succulent plant because this will actually get so hairy and so furry. I mean, it's furry now, but this is not even the half of it, okay? The fur will actually become long and white and it'll look like an adorable furry little animal creature. And I have to tell you, I just absolutely fell in love with this when I seen the full grown version of this. And again, I searched everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. I could not get my hands on it. And now I have one guys. But not only that guys, not only does it have such a phenomenal way in which it grows because this will get so big and this will actually trail right outside of the pot where when it is mature, it'll have a whole lot of trailings again furry little trailings that will bloom. So many gorgeous blooms. So yes, this is so eye appealing, so attractive, so beautiful when it is full grown. And I just simply cannot wait. And he's in big trouble, okay? Cause you guys know I am such a touchy feely gal. So yeah, I'm not gonna be able to keep my loving hands off of this guy. You are in so much trouble. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this adorable furry little fella right here. And the actual name of this cactus right here is the Cleistocactus calatomononis. And if we take a closer look, you will see, as I stated, it has a good root system on it. And take a look at all of those adorable little hairs. Now, again, as I stated, this is not even going to be half of what the hairs will become. This will grow so long and so furry. It'll look like literal fur, guys. And that is what makes it so exciting to me. I have never had a plant that furry and adorable. 
And now I do have a little bit of a dilemma, being that this is pretty mature. I didn't expect it to already have its hair. And I actually was thinking it was going to take a while to actually get the hairs. So what I wanted to do was actually propagate this in perhaps two or three pieces. And now that I know that it already has the hair and it can take quite a long time to develop those hairs, I don't know if I want to do that propagation because if I do the propagation and cut it, of course the little growths will only be babies and that's going to take a while before it develops its fur. So yeah, that causes quite a dilemma. And also for the fact, if you see, let me see if I can get it to focus in, right there, you see those two nubbins or those two lumps? I do believe it is already beginning to create its flowers as well. So that's another setback to my propagation plan because I definitely want to see its blooms as well. So you guys let me know what I should do. I mean, I want more of these plants, but man, like I said, it's just so much more mature than I expected it to be. What do you guys think? Should I propagate this or should I just wait patiently since it's already at a good age and size. Let me know what you guys think I should do. Really need your help on this one. And before I forget, let me go ahead and let you guys know exactly where I got this from because again, I am absolutely ecstatic with the plant product that I received from them. And this is coming from Succulents Depot out of Newark, California. And again, I purchased this off of eBay. And there he is, that cutie pie right there, now growing alongside of his aunts, his uncles, his cousin. Because as you guys can see, I am quite the cactus tail loving fan and I do have a lot of them. And I cannot wait for this little furry guy to become humunga dunga wunga like this furry guy. Except this guy will be so much more furrier and so much more pettable. And some of the rat tail varieties that I do have, these right here, I've featured them in some of my videos. This is actually the Cleistocactus winteri, also known as the golden rat tail. And this little itty bitty guy right here is known as the Aporo cactus flagelliformis and is also known as the rat tail, except this is the skinnier variety. This is known to have very long trailings that are very skinny and also can be filled with so many beautiful magenta blooms. And this particular cactus right here, this is considered the Selenoceras testudo, also known as the dog tail cactus. And this one in particular is a hybrid and blooms a beautiful red flower. And this one right here I'm not quite sure of, although I will say this is a blooming cactus as well, blooming beautiful red blooms. And although this is not actually trailing downwards or cascading downwards, they normally do grow that way. Also, just to let you guys know, I do have some cuttings of the Cleistocactus winterize available for sale and also some cuttings of the Selenoceras testudos. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys contact me. And there you have it, folks. Now, you guys are going to have to let me know exactly what did you think about this adorable, cuddly, and very furry Cleistocactus collatomonotus. Let me know what you guys think. And you know what? Not a lot of people have these. So if you have one of these, please be sure to let me know what you think of yours, how's it doing for you, and how are you caring for yours. Make sure you also post those comments below. <laughs> How adorable is this right here? This furry little criddle. Criddle. <laughs> I'm so tongue tied. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's start all over. I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of My Orchid Adventures. And if you guys like this video, please be sure to like, share, and also subscribe. Also, if you have not already joined me, please join me on Facebook and also Instagram under My Orchid Adventures. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to share my love, my passion, and also my plants with you guys. I will see you guys later and I'll check you guys out on my next adventure. Bye-bye for now. Mwah.